is that it's the fact that whenever you do drink, you basically dumb down because that's 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 the really bad way to say it. Dumb up, you dumb mm-hmm. up. That's what, that's yeah. what it is. <laughs> because uh, anything, if you're drunk and the other person's uh, drunk, anything that you say is entertaining. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like, it's not beneficial um, to for me. Like, I, not that if you really look at drinking, it's it's not beneficial in the long run. It costs a lot of money. You get hangovers, and you don't have a a genuine conversation about your future or your life. Because like. If you start drinking with people who drink only and you only time you conversate is when you drink, yeah. they're always gonna be those kind of people is you whenever you want to drink and party, those are the people you hang out with. Yeah. And, you know, Versus I, I, I wanna add to that, life. man. Like 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 for me, you know, why why I stopped drinking is like I had a, a dependency on that piece, right? For me to be social with people, I you know, I had to have that alcohol to to alleviate myself from that anxiety, you know? And then and then during all that time of you know um trying to be social you know i had to be social while i, I was drinking i never really made a, a real deep connection with with anybody you know i mean i met a lot of people in my life um you know in, in these past 10 years you know um I, but but no real connections to that that were grounded on anything you know other than the fact that we're at a bar or at a house party or something like that you know so I think there's truth to that. If 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 you aren't able to, if you're the kind of person who can't make connections outside of drinking, you know, then then I would, I I personally stayed away from from drinking because of, you know, not not because of that, but but that's one of the reasons. Yeah, uh, yeah, I I agree. It kind of like uh, like like smoking weed. You know what I mean? Like I used to smoke weed a lot. I mean, all my relationships, most of my relationships came from weed. You know. It was like a social thing, right? Yeah. And like, and, and now, I know I think about it, man. Uh, it was, it's cool to meet you. It's cool. We had a great time, but it was just like, we always smoked together and talked about nonsense and talked about our dreams, but never really accomplished them. And it kind of, it hurted more than, than the buildup, you know? Cause like, you know, there, there are times that we didn't smoke weed. Uh, those are great times too. Um, but I think overall, like it just was not as meaningful. Yeah. So yeah, I've decided not to um, drink and smoke, um, but I think I'm still gonna do uh, cocaine. <laughs> yeah, but I think I'm still gonna do <laughs> meth. <laughs> uh, and I was like, that's the other option, right? If I can't smoke and I can't drink, can I at least do some coke? I knew that joke was gonna come up. I knew that joke was gonna come up. Oh, that's hilarious, dude. <laughs> um, I really thought about it. Bro. I was like, damn, man, I can't do those things, but um, what, what can I do? <laughs> um, Some ayahuasca, cuz. Some of that tree frog. Oh, uh, dude. I, I actually really want to go and, and do ayahuasca because I think that's going to... I want to do it uh, the proper way. Do you way think it's true that men... Because I, I did do DMT, which is similar to ayahuasca, but uh, I want to do the proper way with the right mindset going in. Um. I mean, sometime in in in, in a couple of years, to be honest. You you remember uh, remember JD? Oh yeah yeah yeah. He uh he he kind of like is a, a coach that coaches no people yeah and hosts um these healing ceremonies. Oh, that's so cool, dude. Yeah. Congrats to him. Um, that's cool, dude. Okay, it's, uh, I had to tell you, this is thing called um they they practice. It's kind of like ayahuasca, so. What ayahuasca is like DMT technically, it's just basically um, build up melatonin and you basically release it in in, in like a spiritual way. Um, and this is guy, you can release it through breathing practices, and it was oh, it was nice. really interesting. Um, and um, I, I I'll send you a video. I think oh, you know next time we should watch a video about that. Um, it's really interesting. Um, and he he's making a business out of it because there's a lot of truth behind this. Uh, this healing, this inner healing. Yeah. Um, yeah, dude. I, ayahuasca, man. Definitely want to do it. 